Okay, so friggin' uh, before we start today's movie, I'm just gonna tell you that uh, it's sponsored by uh, friggin' Turkish Airlines. So there's gonna be a link in the uh, video, and I want you to go check that out. Friggin' pretty funny. Uh, new new airline did a commercial, and uh, it's pretty hilarious. Friggin', uh, you know, they wanted uh, Pug One to uh, advertise for them, uh, get some. Uh, Get some traffic over there so i just gotta go to the frig and mail depot here and drop off some decals friggin uh so justin your freaking decals are on their way but i'm gonna freaking cash that check cash that check bud so anyways other than that uh i don't know what's going on but uh yeah don't forget to uh check out the link i'll be posting uh links on my facebook and twitter and all that crap too but uh anyways we'll uh get out in the shop there and, uh, and see what we can come up with for a sack. Okay, so anyways, I decided uh, we're gonna call uh, Gasoline and uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna get him to talk me through working my uh, program here. So I'll just get him on the phone in a second here. This might take all day. Please stand by while we complete your long distance call. To avoid this message, please dial one before a 10 digit long distance number. Thank you. Hello, you've reached Rivas Radical Rides Technical Assistance Services. For immediate assistance, press 1. Beep. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Not too bad, what are you saying? Um, so you looking for some help? Yeah, my program, bud, my program. You dicked her? Yep. Okay, um... So right, right, right now I got both the negatives un unplugged. They're unplugged. The positives are connected together and the negatives are unplugged. And I got my okay. I got my thing hooked up right now, I think. I got the black one into the common hole and I got the red one into the 10 amp for Frig Sakeser. Okay, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna hook back up the uh, negatives. Oh yeah? Yeah. Yeah, do it right now. Right now. Okay. Here I go. That's it. I'm doing it. Catch on fire. That's the number one rule. Because this one guy told me not to do the positives, to do the negatives, so you don't frazzle your stuff. Was he lying on me? Well, you could do that, or you can. Uh, well, since you have two of them set up together, you could do either, either way. But you know, it might be grounding out somewhere else. Blah blah blah. Oh, I apologize. It's that, or you can uh, use uh, like a little light bulb. You take the little little metal pieces out there, and you, you use a light bulb. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh-oh. Okay, so they're hooked back up now. Now what? So do it on the positive side. Undo it? Yeah, just one, one battery. Because they're connected together, right? Yeah. Okay, battery unhooked. Okay, so put your like negative side of your tester to your post. Set on amps? Uh, I don't know. I'm not an electrician. <laughs> Alright, well we'll try that. <laughs> okay, negative on the battery itself? Yeah, and then the positive on the positive part of the, the the battery terminal thing, not the terminal, but the clamp from a bobbler. It says negative zero point one four zero point something this and that. Like it's in the negative region, big time. Like it's point one four point zero three. You know what I mean? It's yeah. going up and down. I gotta hold on to it a little better, maybe. So you got the negative on the positive post? Yeah. Okay. And it's not showing too it's much? 0 0.14, 0 0.15 DC cigarettes. So oh. no, no draw, really? No draw? Uh, I don't know if that sounds like a lot. I think it's supposed to be less than that. I think you're supposed to have like zero point something. Oh my goodness. To allow yeah, that's what it is. Uh, zero point stuff. Yeah, zero, zero point cigarettes and... Yeah, zero point zero something. 
Yeah, you know, like 0 0.15 is what we're cigaretting at. Like I said, I'm not like an electrician, but I think it's supposed to be like 0 0.02 or something like that. You know, enough for your like radio to remember and stuff. Yeah. Frig sack. So, like, or if you do it with the light bulb, you just do the same thing without the tester. If the light bulb comes on, that means you're getting enough draw that the light bulb's coming on. That's when you pull every other fuse or whatever. And then when the light goes out, you know where your draw is. Right on. So if I put a friggin' a light bulb between the positive post of the battery and the positive battery cable, yes, it will not light up unless I have a draw. Yes. Beg my pardon. All right, well, I'll... To, I got like a little tester light thing. I probably can find somewhere. Would that work? I'm yeah. not sure if a test light works. I think I think it's the same thing. Like it's like it's a little cord with a thing on it. I can't find it right now. It's usually right over here, but I'll dig around for a minute and see if I can't find it. But I'll try that and friggin' uh, see if that uh, works in, in different things, buddy. Okay. Right on. Thanks a lot. And if it and if it doesn't work, don't tell anybody I gave you this advice. Oh, don't worry. I didn't record this conversation or anything. <laughs> okay, perfect. Uh, I, I don't want anybody to know. Right on. <laughs> <laughs> cool, man. Okay, have a good one. Right on. Thanks a lot, buddy. Good luck. Okay, bye. Oh, crap. I think I got pinched at the end there. You think? Oh crap. So anyways, yeah, I guess I'll dig out my friggin' test light there and we'll see if we can't cigarette this program or something. I don't know. You see this over here though? This is like my blink and blink the steam, right? So it's like, you know, I mean that's gonna chooch something. You know what I mean? When the, when the cigarette's hooked up and the alarm's on, I don't know why it's blinking right now. It's, you know, it does crazy things when you unhook the batteries and hook it back up. You gotta like and do a bunch of stuff, but, you know, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure I'll find out in the comments, beg my part. Okay, so I couldn't find my friggin' little test light thing, but I got this like 12 volt under the hood light guy, right? So I got it hooked up to the battery right now. And if I friggin' hook it up to this guy, like he said, and turn it on, I got nothing. So I don't know, is that good? I don't know nothing about that. I don't, so if you do, Leave me a comment, because that's the only way, uh, you know, I can find out, because I'm too stupid otherwise, so beg my part. So anyways, 200 cigarettes, you're smoking cigarettes, aren't you, buddy? Look at them, look at them. What are you working on, your engine? Yeah, cleaning it up, it's pretty dirty. Cleaning up your engine? Yeah. Get, getting, uh, getting on Project Cigarette there. Don't, you got decals, don't you? Yeah, you got decals. decals. Oh my goodness. Pretty awesome. Oh my goodness. You want cigarette decals? Pretty well, like a, a full set of 200 cigarette decals for a, for a bike, Thank eh? you. Yeah. Oh my goodness, but uh, look what I found. Went through my hoard there and I found uh, found a rear end, but it's out of something else, eh? You probably figured? Probably, yeah. Yeah, frick sack. So I thought, you know, I thought, well, because the rear end's all frazzled, you can see like the bearings are shot in it or something. I don't know. Well, this whole, I don't know if, if I could, you know, if you can see it good, but we got some uh, some spline issues like one of these splines is all wallowed out real bad right so you know this and that I don't know blah 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 but you know I thought I might have the parts to save her but uh, friggin looks like we're cutting her in half tonight You're crazy man no no this seat just comes right off you can just pull this piece right off right there yeah. and then I can just like you know a couple cuts and that whole back end will be right off you're crazy, dude. You can get an axle for this on eBay for like probably a hundred something bucks. No, I don't have a hundred and something bucks though. That's oh, the only I thing. Bucks. No, I don't. I'll stop it. So yeah, we're just gonna friggin' butcher this up tonight. It's gonna be pretty awesome. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Oh, well, cigarettes is all mad at me now, but uh, I don't care. My tractor's gonna be awesome. It's gonna have reverse and everything. I was looking for a freaking engine with reverse on it for a trapper because you know without reverse your trapper's gonna suck, right? You need reverse for a trapper engine, so but you gotta like push this thing in and pull the double antler and then swish a wobbling was a was a so I'll have to rig up something for that. But anyways, like it needs tires and brakes, like the brakes are all shot, eh? 
Like it's just no brakes, no brakes. So I don't know. Like this whole spiel back here is all flappy. So like it needs a whole bunch of parts, right? So it's not just you know oh axle fixed, but you know I don't know. What do you think? What do you figure? It's out of a 200x. I'd say it's out of a Honda 200x. Yeah. Perfect well. sprocket on it too. Both hubs are good, all splines are good on it. Trade that for an axle, maybe. Yeah, or we could just cut it up, save myself the business. Probably. I think you could get an axle for that pretty cheap, and it'd be a cool quad. I mean, you'd go romping. We could have that romping connection, you know what I'm saying? Wouldn't be like different trappers. I think it'd be cool. You could keep it, fix it. Be fun. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe somebody's got parts. Well, I'll give her a few days, maybe. We'll get some parts. I'll give her a few days. I won't cut her up tonight. Soon, though. Soon, maybe somebody wants to trade an axle for something. If they got an axle for a friggin' Elemental P friggin' 200 or something. What is this thing? The uh, 300. Stop it. It's not going to It is a 1987. Either 250 or 300. TRX 250X. He says it's a big board kit or something. Yeah, right? it's got the Wiseco friggin' piston stuff in it. It's been bored over, stroke this and that for 300. I'll tell you, man, pull right out. Yeah, so we'll just tear that engine out of there and build a tractor. Yeah. So, anyways, boys, we'll have to uh, wait and see what happens with Big Cigarette here and friggin' uh, the, the quad or whatever. I don't know. Friggin uh, Nelson's supposed to come over on the weekend, so that should be awesome. I don't even care. I'm going there and I'm, and I'm dragging him to Inwood, and that's just that. You know what I mean? He's, he doesn't have a choice. He's freaking quit Inwood long enough. But anyways, uh, don't forget to check out the uh, link in the description for the uh, Turkish Air uh, commercial or whatever. They're uh, doing a whole bunch of different ones and stuff, so friggin' rights. And big, big thanks to them for uh, asking me to... Uh, have my video sponsored by their uh, program there. So uh, friggin' rights for that. And anyways, don't forget to check out onepuckguy.com. Get your decals. It's too late by now, cause well, you can still get them, but you gotta pay a full price now. You could've got 40% off yesterday, but you're too late. Might as well punch yourself in your face for yourself. But uh, there you go. Another Dicker Pug One production. So until tomorrow. Don't the watchers get you.